what's up youtube welcome to our video in this video we will learn different methods of deleting data from firebase using c sharp so let's begin first we will create a method to delete an entire document so delete an entire document for this we should get the document reference docref equals to database dot collection the name of the collection is testing2 and the name of the document is doc1 then just write docref.delete async and a message box dot show done let's run it so we are trying to delete this testing2 and the document within it so doc1 we will delete this entire document so when I press button 1 document 1 is deleted so now let's come to the document 2 now I want to delete just this field of this document so only the age for this I need to create another method copy this paste it here and now we are deleting a field within our document for this first we need to change this doc1 to doc2 then we need a dictionary with string and object type data equals to new press tab and inside this I will give the fields that I want to delete so it could be one or more than one for now I want to delete this age field so age comma field value dot delete and this is it so if I wanted to delete some more fields I would just write comma then this is how I could have deleted more than one field. Now change this delete to update async and give the data as argument. Now let's test this out. So I want to delete this and the age field is deleted. To delete a element within a list or a nested element we can do it like this so change the name to so delete an element inside a list for that I first I need to refer to a list so come to the multiple set of data and here is my list so I want to delete this new field first I need this address so this is my collection and this is the name of the document my list dot new field the name should be exactly the same so new field now let's check this out So only the new field is deleted within my list. Now let's create another method to delete elements inside an array. So inside an array. First of all we need to refer to an array. So my array. My array. And then in the field value we need to select array remove and inside this we can provide multiple elements to delete within the array so it will search for them and it will delete all of them so let me come to this and this is my array let me add another four five six 
So four, five, six. So there are two, four, five, six. So when I write four, five, six, and I could also delete multiple objects within my array. So I want to also delete the two. So that two. And I also want to remove the new field because now I am dealing with my array and this method will look inside this array. So let's copy this. When I press the button 4, 5, 6 and 2 all will be deleted. First I need a collection reference. So a collection reference equals to database dot collection and the name of collection is testing2 then a query snapshot snap equals to await collection reference dot get snapshot async then inside a for each loop document snapshot and snap dot documents we will delete all the documents one by one so after getting the collection reference and generating a query snapshot with it we are now getting the documents one by one and deleting them one by one so doc dot reference dot delete async and this process should be await so this method will delete all the documents within a collection let's test it out and now these are our documents so one by one all the documents are gone but what about this collection why it is still here it says it belongs to the document too so it is here because I have told this in the previous video which was the update video that a collection can exist even if the document is deleted it still can exist with the reference of that document so if we want to delete this sub collection we have to do this separately so coming back to the home testing 2 all the docs are gone and just this doc 2 remains because of this sub collection so for our next method we again require multiple documents so here are our fields now we have all our documents so we can create a method which is for the same task to delete all the documents in a collection but a particular one thing is different the one thing is we are limiting our deleting process this is because imagine if you have millions of records or uh, thousand even thousands of records it would take time to delete the records so you may want to delete records in sets of maybe 100 or 200 or even 1000 so you want you may want to delete your data within sets delete all documents in a collection with limitation so first we need to limit this query snapshot so limit and I am limiting the cycle with 3 so first 3 records should be deleted then the other 3 records should be deleted so this is the maximum number of records that query snapshot will get in a cycle I need to uh, introduce a list first so I read only list which is gonna be document snapshots and we will name it docs equals to snap dot documents and then as we have the snap dot documents here I will give it directly to the for each loop so now I have to apply a while loop upon the for each loop so it goes inside and the condition would be docs dot count is greater than zero so if there are still documents process this loop with the set of three delete the three 
then again check if there are still docs process it in the for each loop then again this loop so this is how it works also after each uh, each loop is completed uh, the all the documents inside this uh, uh, collection reference is deleted we need to give it the next set of documents for that we need to copy these two delete the class reference so after the first three records are deleted uh, the first three documents are deleted this will provide us the snapshot of the next three documents after we have saved the uh, the current three documents inside docs we will provide it in the for each loop and it will delete it one by one so we can also print a message uh, to see that a set is deleted now let's see what it does so here here is our documents press the button the first set is deleted then the second set is also deleted so this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time